Let's take a look at an integral problem. Consider the indefinite integral of x times the square root of x squared minus 9. Now you'd probably solve this using the method of substitution. You'd probably think substitute for the x squared minus 9 part. But how would you solve the, the definite integral from 3 to 5? Same integrand. It turns out that you can use the method of substitution for a definite integral as well. And I want to show you how to do that. So let's copy this down. The integral from 3 to 5, x times the square root of x squared minus 9. So we'll substitute for the x squared minus 9. w equals x squared minus 9. And dw will equal 2x dx. Now I don't have a 2x dx. But I do have an x dx, so I can just divide both sides by 2 and get 1 half dw equals x dx. That'll take care of everything inside the integral, but it does not take care of the limits. These limits are x values. When I change this integral over to w, I really should change the limits to w values as well. And you can do that using this um, substitution. right? x equals 3, for example, this bottom limit. If you plug 3 in here, you get 9 minus 9 is 0. w equals 0. So the 3 is going to turn into a 0. And x equals 5. If you plug that in here, you get 25 minus 9. w is going to be 16. So my new integral is going to be the integral from 0 to 16. The square root of x squared minus 9, that will be root w. The x dx, 1 half dw. So I'll pull the 1 half outside, integral from 0 to 16, w to the 1 half dw. This is 1 half, and now I need an antiderivative for w to the 1 half. I raise the exponent by 1 to w to the 3 halves, and divide by 3 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. So this is 2 thirds w to the 3 halves. And I want to evaluate this from 0 to 16. Now, 1 half times 2 thirds is 1 third. So it's 1 third, 16 to the 3 halves, minus 1 third, 0 to the 3 halves. Now, of course, this is going to be 0. But what's 16 to the 3 halves? Whenever I have a fractional exponent, it depends on what, what the input is as to whether I want to cube first or take the square root first. But this number is a perfect square, so I'm going to take the square root first. The square root is 4, then raised to the third power is 64. So this is 64 thirds. And that's my answer. So the neat tr new trick here is switching over the limits of integration using your substitution. Remember, this formula tells you how. These are x values. Plug them in here and you can get the corresponding w values.